back to the channel, everybody. Hope everybody is doing okay. If you guys haven't watched the video on the $600 paint job, be sure to do so. I know there's a whole lot of you guys with cars looking like this with a whole bunch of different colors everywhere. Sorry to put you on blast, Vu, but Vu's still got a few things to order. But for $600, you can have a clean, complete looking car just like this. Just so you guys know, I bought this car for only $1,500. Car runs amazing, barely any dings and dents anywhere. And after a $600 paint job, it looks amazing. And of course, you guys know, I gave this car away to my best friend, Andrew. Having the car one color like this is, is also gonna motivate you guys to finish your projects. It's very hypocritical of me because you know my S13 has been literally sitting here and I haven't touched it since. I literally have everything to finish the swap and get it started. But you guys know I got a Supra. Emmy's also feeling a lot better, guys. She's walking around now. Say hi, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> okay, let me catch you guys up on the S13. We've got an upgraded subframe and steering rack, but we have an issue. Check this out. So you see that wheel? Let's move on over to here. Yep. And the steering wheel is pretty much straight. So what's happening here is with the new upgraded steering rack, my tie rods are now too short because I'm not using the offset spacers from Part Shop Max. It's so short that now each wheel's poking out. So I have everything to fix that today. Today we're gonna be swapping out a whole bunch of different things like my Nismo power brace new inners, and just a whole bunch of stuff for the S13. Can't have Luke working on everything, right? Well, enough of that. I guess let's move some cars out of the way, get the S13 onto the lift, and hopefully by the end of the week, we can have the car up and running. I hope you guys are excited for some S13 content. I've missed that car so much. I'm ready to push some power out of that and get a lot more seat time and go down to SoCal and hopefully drift with Eon and the boys. We already ran into our first problem, guys. Uh, so I don't know what happened. I haven't touched this car in so long. This lock right here is completely different from the rears. I can take off the rear wheels, no problem, but the front wheels, I kind of lost the key. Nothing fits. So the only thing we can do now is to hammer one of these on and break these off. So I picked up some sockets from AutoZone that I don't care for. Let's hope this works. Let's not fuck up my wheels. Okay. One, two. Ooh. Fuck it. Send it. I guess what? One, two. Got it. Whee! One more side to do. Oh wait, I have an impact on it. <laughs> we get it, you got an E30. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> All right guys, work smart, not hard. There we go. And she's off. Wheels are off, next up, time to take off the inner and outer tie rods and hopefully fix 
this issue. There we go. One inner tie rod out. There we go, the second one is out and here are the new ones compared to the old ones. The new ones are three inches longer and I hope this is the right size. If not, we're gonna have to shave it just a little bit. Okay guys, we got some bad news. The tie rods are too long. So we're gonna have to cut it and pray that after cutting it, it's gonna work. It's like slightly longer, but the inside threading might not allow for enough adjustment, so. Fingers crossed, I pray to God that this video isn't about cutting tie rods and it's not gonna work. This is too long. I've shaved it down an extra two more times. And now this is hitting at the end. I should have done a little bit more research and bought the right size, but it's okay. The only way we can make it work is if I shave just this part right here. It's almost there. Ah, I didn't think today was gonna be about tie rods, Jesus Christ. Oh, I did it! Okay, it looks way uglier. <laughs> I thought I did an amazing job. What the hell is this? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh no. Alright guys, luckily I was able to save it. Check this out, looks a lot better. I just kept going through and grinded it till it was straight. And luckily I have this new tie rod. So, I was able to thread it back on and we're good. We got one more side to do though. <laughs> Ah, we're finally done. Check it out, steering wheel is straight and we're towing out, which is good. Earlier we were towing in and there was no adjustability, but we're towing out right now with a little room for adjustability so we can push it out to get the alignment perfect. Ah, didn't expect today to take so long on just tie rods, but every car guy knows that sometimes even the easiest things can always take the longest and it sucks but it is what it is Emmy's just waiting for me to finish so we can go home you tired yeah so since we're here we're gonna be upgrading the steering shaft bushing to an aluminum solid one there we go it's back in we're gonna go guys my mechanic is here it took me all night last night to do the tie rods with Luke here we're gonna have the motor in and running in this video, that's how quick he is. Why are we cutting the Nismo power brace, Luke? Uh, because you have a shortened sway bar now, which will give you more clearance uh, with the angle kick. Because you were rubbing on it before, so you get more clearance now. The ultimate collab. Randy and Luke working together. Luke doing most of the work. But as long as I'm touching something, it's a collab. My job is to make sure the steering wheel is straight. Hey look, we can see the tranny from here. Hey, hey, come here. Let me shift some gears. Take your pants off. Oh, short shifter. <laughs> hey Boo, what time is it? Taco time. Oh yeah. Chiquito Pito, ¿quieres un taco? ¿Por qué no? No, gracias. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess that's right. <laughs> you know what? You know what Chiquito Pito means? Ah, oh, you know what it means. Fuck it, send it. Mm -mm -mm. And we are done. Check it out, guys. New shortened sway bar. The new Nismo power brace, courtesy of Vu, thank you very much. It's got reinforcements here and a brace all the way across. And all of the mods we did for steering, for the upgraded steering rack. Luke, thank you very much. You guys just witnessed the greatest collab of all time. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I'm Yugi. He's Dark Magician. I play the card. He does everything I tell him. Yeah, well, actually, not Dark Magician. We'll call him the Light Magician. Uh, I guess uh, we are one step closer to dropping in the motor. All I have to do is put all the freeze plugs and clean up a few things and the motor should be going in. So that is a wrap for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, help us out by liking this video. Go down, comment, subscribe. Peace. Hold up. Forgot, let me show you guys this. The bags for the Supra just arrived. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys.